being here with John and Brian is um, it's extremely comfortable for me because we played together a lot and we know each other and we're close friends and there's an intimacy in, in the way we can create together uh, and they make me feel extremely comfortable and I think you want to try to forge relationships with with people in your life that last instead of just playing with people here and there and never continuing to build together but since I have them here with me and I would like to ask them sort of their viewpoints on what they look for in the bass players that they work with, because they work with all kinds of great bass players. So Brian, I, I want to ask you first, because you've, you've had the opportunity to play with all kinds of people. Wow. So I, I suppose what I, I, I really, what equates itself to a connection and a groove and a, and a feeling that, that everyone can sort of be inside of is that, that balance from from the low, from the from the bottom, from the from the drums and then bass connection, and particularly the way you you know, it, it it has a you know it's all inextricable in a way. The the harmonic connection, the way you create lines, leading that movement of progression that that moves me a lot. But the 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 bounce and rhythm essentially, even if it was one note, somehow uh, that connection length of note, knowing how to vary that, that subtlety and, and attack. I think it's important uh, that be you know, acoustic or electric, but it's just the, the, uh, the, uh, the particular bassist's feel, you know. It's important, I think, to have that connection with the drummer. I don't know, that's my thought. Uh, that's, thank you. How about you, John? What do you, what do you think? Well, uh, from a pianist perspective, I guess the <clears throat> when the fundamental techniques are there, like pitch and all that <laughs> stuff, uh, it's great. And uh, also, you know, having technical things down so that you can play with open ears and we can have a dialogue mm. with all those elements in place, like the groove and the rhythm. And then um, I like it when a rhythm section, let's say bass and drums, they lead sometimes and they follow sometimes. You know, there's a, a, a balance between, okay, this is what we're going to do, but we're also going to listen to, you know, the piano or whoever's soloing yeah. and react and, uh, and support at the same time. Um, I think that's, that's mainly it. How about another thing, too, I want to ask you both, because you're both such wonderful composers and arrangers, you know. Like, I'll ask you first, Brian. When you write a song... What do you, th what do you, when you bring it in, what's a priority from the bass player as a musician? Because, you know, we're talking about so many things on this site about trying to develop technical formation, mm -hmm. trying to develop ears, ear training stuff, mm -hmm. trying to develop, you know, I did, a, I'm doing a lot of stuff about the abaqua, the stuff that we've done with Danilo about 6 8 and feeling mm -hmm. how that connects to the swing. And yeah. so I'm trying to open everybody up to the journey that I've personally been on. Yeah you know, playing with you guys and with Danilo and Wayne and Herbie and those guys, just trying to explore the depths harmonically of music and rhythmically of music. But now this, the other thing is also important is when somebody hands you a piece of music, like when you hand somebody a piece of yours right. to, a, to a bassist, what do you, what do you most value? Um, I think it, 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 it's specific to, to each composition. But initially, uh, it's that trust that's there. If if there's, if perhaps you're you're thinking, okay, I'm gonna leave this to John to create his own part and just put whole notes, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, or just slashes, or or leave it to that to that trust. Unless I really hear something specific, you know, sometimes they're they're based in tenor doubles or bass and piano, you know, things that happen yeah. compositionally that you, you want heard. And sometimes those, those whole notes are sacred. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the space and the, and the invention somehow to, to find the, the meeting point between the yeah. two. Um, so compositionally speaking, it, it does, it changes from, from time to time. But to, to know that also whatever you write, 
oftentimes. I, I never, I don't think I've ever written anything complex <laughs> in terms of uh, execution and, the, and right. you know, but I know a lot of, a lot of people who do. So it's great to be able to come with anything and say, okay, I know he can, he can, he can play this, even though it's crazy. <laughs> or, you know, or it might be the simplest thing. Right. He can play this. Yeah. Because, I, I, you know, you have that trust. No, that's great. How about you, John? Because you write a lot of music, too. Well, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, maybe I'll sit down at the piano and write a bass line to what I'm writing in the melody or harmony. But I always trust the, the bass player to, to come up with something better You're based right. on maybe <laughs> what I started with. Yeah. yeah. And... Uh, so it's it's a luxury too if you play in the same band a lot and yes. you know the personality or whatever of the ba your bass player or whoever, and so you can think of them maybe when you're writing or uh, you know know where they're coming from and that kind of thing. Yeah, um, I'm just trying to think. Um, also sonically, when you play live with people, what do you like to hear? sonically from the bass player? Because, you know, a lot of people have different kind of attitudes about how much bass they like to hear, whether they like to hear the microphone sound, whether they like to hear a pickup to help them hear better on stage, whether they have the bass in their monitor, or whether they like to hear it from the bass, you know, and a combination. What's, what's your kind of vibe? I mean, it sure is nice if you can squeeze in together like we are here, yeah. and you can hear it as acoustically as possible. Yeah. I mean, I like to hear a lot of bass when I play, and if I have to, <laughs> a little of the mic maybe in the monitor would be right. the next step, as opposed to amp sound or, or yeah. whatever, but that's what I would go for. Mm -hmm.